Hey, this is Mike from The Run Testers, and this is our multi-tester first run review of the Innovate Park Claw G280. So here's the nitty gritty details you need to know about the Innovate Park Claw G280. It's a shoe described as a road to trail shoe that's priced at £160 in the UK and $180 in the US. It weighs in at 280 grams from men's UK size 8 and offers an 8mm heel to toe drop. The upper is made from a knitted mesh with a gusseted tongue and a flexible toe bumper up front to protect against rocks and trail debris. Further back is a heel counter to offer a more locked in supportive feel. In the midsole, Innovate plants its graphene enhanced G-Fly cushion foam to offer snappy energy return and to keep you fast and fresh over longer distances. The boomerang footbed uses TPU beads to compress and spring back to promote greater energy return and has a 6mm thickness to last longer. On the outsole, you're getting graphene enhanced rubber for that customary Innovate sticky grip with 98 multi-directional 4mm deep lugs planted into it to offer good grip on trails and roads. Uh, in terms of the fit, these are really comfortable, true to size for me. Um, Innovates often actually can be quite narrow, but I think these are actually reasonably roomy. You know, I've got plenty of space in the toe box. Um, yeah, nice, tight, secure hole. A lot of padding around the kind of tongue and collar. So yeah, good, true to size for me. So fit for me was pretty spot on. I have a UK size eight, and um, I would say it's a kind of relatively kind of spacious shoe. Um, I think Innovate says this kind of sits uh, from a scale of one to five one being narrow, five being its widest shoe, this kind of sits uh, like a four. Um, so I think it will be accommodating to kind of wider feet. I found the space was very good for me without feeling kind of overly spacious. I think you get a good amount of room up front in the toe box. Um, it doesn't press on the sides of the foot either. And I think you get a nice amount of padding here, the back of the shoe and also kind of, which is reinforced by the tongue as well. So from a fit and comfort point of view, um, no major issues for me. Uh, my UK size A was, yeah, spot on. So I'm about to head out and do my first run in the Innovate Park Claw G280. Uh, every day is a first run day at the moment. New shoes coming in all the time, so uh, excited to test these out. Plan today is to do an easy to steady 10k uh, with a few strides afterwards. I'm doing it in my local forest, Epping Forest, um, and it's kind of a good mix of kind of uh, terrain today, a little bit of road to get to the forest, some kind of well-maintained park paths that are quite hard, a few kind of slightly muddier forest paths, a good range of light trails basically, which is what the shoe is designed for, plus some road. So looking forward to seeing how it feels, how comfortable it is on the hard sections, and what it kind of feels like when you move to a slightly faster pace towards the end of the run, plus those strides. So just coming up to around 4K in the shoe, and the kind of thing that stood out really straight away on the kind of road section is they're a lot more comfortable than I thought they were going to be on that. I've generally used quite, you know, kind of studded Innovate shoes in the past for muddy runs, which, you know, are great, but are a bit kind of firm on the road. But yeah, these are really nice and comfortable. The foam is a good bit of giving it and protects the legs nicely without being like overly squishy. So just back in from the run now, did kind of about 11 and a half K in the shoe, uh, kind of that first 10 K ticking through the gears to finish from kind of easy and then finishing kind of around mid 330s, kind of running based on heart rates, taking into account the hills and all that. Um, and yeah, I was, I was gonna say, this was a really surprising run for me in the shoe. Like I actually put off testing these, we've had a lot of exciting shoes in this week and I've been kind of kept pushing this back because I wasn't sure if it was going to be that thrilling to run in but um yeah shame on me this is a really good shoe I really enjoyed it today um so it was really surprisingly comfortable on the road at the start um and then I went across a good mix of kind of training today went in some grass some rutted grass some kind of rutted paths some roads some hard forest track a little bit of mud um and yeah coach of everything there like, wasn't a single second of doubt on grip at all like yeah, it's kind of what you expect from Innovate they're really good on that front but what I didn't expect was it was going to be so comfortable on the road, like in the very last section of the run, running kind of the fastest pace of the kind of steady section on road, like maybe there was a bit of kind of firmness creeping in there. I wouldn't want to go and do an all road, like all out 10K in them or something like that, just for comfort reasons. But you know, when you're on a mix of terrains, they were very comfortable and running easy on the road, they felt very comfortable as well. So yeah, and they were reasonably okay at pace as well, I have to say, like on the strides at the end and everything, they're not the lightest shoe in the world, but they 
do feel quite responsive. That midsole is um, kind of got a little bit of bounce in there. There's not much squish or anything, but yeah, it's got a little bit of bounce and yeah, just really uh, enjoyed it all round, I have to say. Um, really good shoe, good road to trail option that probably veers more traily than many road to trail options. And I'm looking forward to getting out on it again. So my first run in the Park Claw was a very kind of easy paced um, hour of running, um, a little bit of road, a little bit of trail. I have to do 20 minutes of kind of road running to get to my trail. And then what I decided to do was kind of break that up again with some road running to get to another kind of trail section as well. Um, I will say when I put this shoe on, I did have some reservations. The first reservation was that I thought maybe it was a bit of a kind of the upper was quite chunky. There's a lot of material there, maybe too much material for me. Um, I run a lot in the um, Terra Ultra G270. And I think that's kind of got a thinner upper. There's a little bit less to it. Um, but actually it was fine once I got out there. The other reservation I had with, was with these lugs. Now, for me, they felt like they were gonna be a little bit hard to run on kind of harder surfaces and particularly running on roads to get to my trails. But actually once I got out, I just didn't notice it. I almost felt like I was waiting to notice it. Um, it never really came. The feeling underfoot felt really good. Uh, the graphene kind of midsole that you're getting here, you're getting a really nice bounce, I think. Um, I ran in the trail fly, the kind of big kind of green kind of tank style shoe. And, you know, that was the first shoe to have the graphene in the midsole from kind of Innovate's range. I think it's a similar experience. That shoe for me kind of held held really well in terms of, you know, still being a very big shoe, but also being a quite a light shoe um, in terms of the feeling. Um, Similarly here, I think you get a really nice, enjoyable bounce on both the road and trail. Um, you know, I f it felt really great for me and kind of harder and softer um, kind of terrain as well. I think the harder stuff is where it kind of works best. But even when I went through a bit of mud, these lugs worked pretty well. You know, it didn't hold in the mud as well either, which I quite like to see, you know, makes it a little bit easier to clean. Um, and yeah, the upper felt really comfortable for me, felt roomy enough. Um, I felt like it was supportive in the right areas. Um, and overall, I just kind of really enjoyed running in that um, first run. I kind of came away, um, obviously I had, I think going in, I was worried, you know, with those kind of little issues or potential issues that I thought might kind of arise, but it never really did for me in that first run. So all very positive for me uh, on that first run with the Park Claw. Um, I think the uh, it works well as a road to trail shoe uh, based on my experience, obviously a lot more testing to do. I'd wanna see how it would hold up longer and actually doing a bit more quicker stuff when I'm not training for a marathon and I'm kind of tapering. So yeah, all very positive for me for the Park Claw, um, a shoe that you know potentially is gonna work its way into my rotation, um, even based on a very kind of impressive um, first run. So initial thoughts on the Innovate Park Claw are that I, I'll be honest, I did really think I was going to struggle with this shoe. When I slipped it on, um, it felt like it was going to be a quite kind of clumpy, kind of heavy shoe to run in. I was worried that these lugs were going to kind of feel too hard on the road and getting me to my trails. It couldn't have been fair from the truth uh, in terms of my experience on that first run. Um, it felt really nice to run in. Um, it worked well, I think, on both kind of road and trail. Um, particularly on kind of harder trails, uh, but I think also kind of going through a bit of mud, it kind of worked pretty well um, too on that front. It didn't really kind of hold it in the lugs either. The cut, the upper felt really comfortable for me as well. Again, I thought it was going to be a really heavy shoe to run in, but actually that's, that's not what I got from the shoe in that first run. So all very positive for me. Um, I definitely think this could be a really good kind of park run option, a kind of traily, kind of off-roady kind of park run. You've got a mixture of kind of road and trail, or you've got to get to your um, kind of traily park run as well. I feel like this is going to be a really good shoe for that. Um, obviously, I, I, in terms of kind of road to trail shoes, I'm using the Nike Pegasus Trail mainly and the Adidas Terex Ultra. I think this is going to probably could potentially sit around those kind of shoes for me anyway, in terms of getting myself to the trails uh, and actually being a really enjoyable shoe to run in. So initial thoughts so far on that first run, all very positive. I was concerned it wasn't going to be a, a great shoe to run on both those surfaces or both those kind of terrain, uh, but actually it did really well. And it is definitely a shoe I'm kind of really looking forward to spending a bit more time running in uh, ahead of our multi-tester review. Uh, so kind of early verdict on the shoe is very positive. I've said they were a lot better than I kind of expected today. You know, walking around in them in town, I did think they were gonna be quite firm. They seemed firmer walking than running. Um, when I was actually on the road on the way in today, running at an easy pace, very comfy on the road. And they're really versatile in the range of trails they can handle. You know, for a road to trail shoe, 
I really wouldn't have any kind of qualms about taking this on pretty much any kind of terrain, really. They've got lovely grippy lugs, but they're not too kind of sticky on kind of flat hard surfaces or anything like that. And then they, you know, weren't like unwieldy or kind of blocky when I was on kind of rutted trails, which were a bit kind of narrow and stuff like that. So yeah, really good road trail shoe. Like, you know, compared to other road to trail shoes, things like uh, the Nike Pegasus Trail or the On Cloud Vista, that kind of thing. These, I think, are a lot more at home on a mix of trails. The Nike in particular, I think it's pretty more comfortable on the road. It basically is a road shoe that um, that does handle trails a little bit, but then the, the Pegasus Trail really isn't very good at all in the wet. Um, whereas I really think the Innovates will be kind of fine on uh, kind of most conditions on most trails while still being pretty comfortable on the road. So yeah, I'd say they certainly lean towards kind of easy running in general. Like they might start to feel a bit hard if you are pushing the pace for long stretches on um, kind of harder trails or roads. But, but if you're looking for a shoe to kind of use for easy runs on pretty much any terrain, uh, including the roads, um, I would say that these are, you know, looking like they're going to be a very, very strong option. One last thing I've got to say um, is that the only slight concern I might have with them is I think they're going to be a little bit warm. They might run a little bit warm when, the, you know, the, it's real proper summer here in the UK for the two days of proper summer we have, you know, it's a big spongy tongue and the upper in general is quite thick. And I'm not generally bothered by warm uppers myself, but um, yeah, if you are, I think they might, they might end up a little bit warm in hot conditions. So there you have it. Those are our initial thoughts on the Innovate Parklaw G280. If you've got any questions about the shoe, let us know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe, hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos, and yeah, we'll see you for the next run testers video.